Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about uh, modification detection code and message authentication code. In our last classes, we clearly discussed about what is meant by message and message digest. There is nothing new concept which we are going to discuss here. Just we not in order to understand the terminology, this class is. It is very, very simple class to understand. If you have the basic understanding in our previous classes, please watch our previous classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, so modification detection code. See, these concepts are based on message integrity. Means we need to identify whether the message is modified or not. So we take the message. And this message is given as input to the hash function. We have not yet discussed how this hash function algorithm will be. In our coming classes, next, next class, we will start our first cryptography hash function. But uh, as of now, message is sent into the hash function. This hash function is going to generate a message digest of 512 bits. It may be 512, it may be 256, whatever it may be, but uh, in our latest examples, we are going to generate a 512 bit message digest. This message digest is used for modification detection. That's why this message digest, we call it as modification detection code. How this message digest is used as modification detection code, let's try to understand with an example. Suppose a want to send a message to B. What he is going to do? A, A is going to do take the message. He is going to send it to the hash function. This hash function is going to generate the message digest means modification detection code MDC. So now A has to sh secretly share this modification detection code with B how they are going to secretly share this modification detection code with B. You can use a secure on channel or we can go with the, we can encrypt the MDC and we can send it. So how we are going to do that encryption, we can go with symmetric key or asymmetric key cryptography algorithms. We are going to send that MDC open secretly to B. Once that modification detection code has been sent to B, now A can send the message. A can send the message openly. So once the message has been reached to the destination B, what B is going to do? B will take the message and again he will send the message with into the hash function. This hash function is going to generate again generate a message digest, the same message digest it has to generate whatever the MDC modification detection code A has sent to B, whatever B generated both should be same. Then he will think that the message which I got is not modified. There is no modification in the message. That is what a B is going to think by looking at the MDC. But here one thing you have to remember A has sent the message to B. but uh, is there any point that B can know that definitely A has sent the message? Is there any authentication? B is able to identify the modification in the message, but there is no authentication that A, A is the sender. Someone may hack the system A and some other person can send the message. How come authentication can be provided? So with a small change in this, in this concept, we can provide authentication also. How we are going to provide that authentication, we are going to understand here. That we call it as message authentication code. Means it is going to provide both the modification detection plus authentication. So what they are going to do here is uh, if A and B want to share a message, uh, first A and B will sh secretly share a key like we have done in our previous classes in our symmetric uh, key cryptography systems. First they have to share the key. Once they share the key, now the work is same. 
so if a want to send the message a will generate key plus message he is going to take key plus message means key concatenated with message this entire thing is going to be sent into the hash function with this hash with this input the hash function is going to generate message authentication code so here it is going to generate message digest this message digest we call it as message authentication code once a generated this message authentication code message authentication code should be secretly shared between a and b means a is going to send this message authentication code to b after that it is going to send the message once the message reached to the destination b what b is going to do because he already know the secret key he will add the key with the message and again he will send the key plus message with the hash function hash function is going to generate the message digest which we call it as message authentication code whatever b generated and whatever message authentication code that he got from a if both are equal then definitely this message has sent from a because both are using the same key then only the, the same mac will be generated otherwise it is not going to be generated this is what we call it as message authentication code now try to understand some attacks that attacks that are possible on message authentication code suppose if your key size is very very small message is sent openly on the internet if hackers hack the message if the key size is very small assume that if, if your key size is 5 bits how many different possible uh, possible possibilities are there using 5 bits 32 possibilities the hacker is going to generate all the possibilities means this is what we call it as brute force so that's why in order to do this message authentication code your key size should be very very large you have to maintain that large key size and in order to provide some more complexity in the hash function some of the hash functions algorithms are there hmac algorithm which we are going to discuss in our next class there they are going to maintain two levels of authentication two levels of hash functions that we are going to discuss in our next class how two levels will be work uh, that uh, two levels will be generated uh, are used and generated the message authentication code and what actually the hash functions will be and how the hash functions will be how much complex that are all these things will be discussed in our next next class after completion of hmac we will start our first cryptography hash function hope you understand this class if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel